Hello everyone, my name is CG Scrubs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS4 controller on your PC wirelessly the easiest way possible. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to go to your windows and search up settings and then you go to your devices. And at this point, you should already know that you either need a Bluetooth enabled device on your windows or a Bluetooth dongle. So be sure, be sure to have that on hand and then enable Bluetooth on your computer. And then you click on add Bluetooth or other device. You click on Bluetooth. And for it to show up on your PC, what you would do is that you would hold the middle button and the share button at the same time until it flashes white multiple times. We'll just notice right here. And in time, it will show up on your PC. You, at least for me, it shows up as wireless controller. Click on it. And that is pretty much it for the most part. Uh, so I'm going to go through various applications to make sure that they work. Uh, so you know that the controller is connected. As you can see, uh, you can barely tell, but it's a sort of a purple light. Uh, keep that in mind when I go through the remainder of the video. Uh, but first application that I want to note that most people will probably use the controller for is Steam. Uh, so what you would do to make sure that it works on Steam, uh, open it up and then go to big picture mode, right? Okay, you might notice that if you use the controller now, uh, it may like work in the menus, uh, but for it to actually work in game, what you would do is you would go to settings, you would go to controller settings, and then you would enable PlayStation configuration support. And again, notice how my light right now is purple. Uh, once I click on PlayStation configuration support, it turns green. Uh, that is because once I connect my controller to Steam, uh, I set up the light to my liking. Uh, so once you go to detect controllers, you cl click on the PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, you go to preferences and you can, you can uh, control the light on your controller. And basically I do this to make a note that yes, it is connected to Steam uh, and the app and the games will just work on Steam. Uh, so that that's that's at least one thing I want to note. so that if you want to make sure that it's connected you can do so yourself as well and then you know configuration is saved and then you don't even have to open up the games uh, through your steam library if you you don't want to you can exit it out and then you can just open up the games from your library as so and then it should work like so Another use case for PS4 controllers that I'm sure people would want to use it for would be through games through the Epic Games Launcher. Uh, so if you natively open the Epic Games Launcher, it's not going to connect the controller uh, or more so when you open up games from the launcher in of itself is just not going to work. Uh, so a, a way around that is to open it through Steam. So what you would do is you would click on add a game at the bottom left corner. You would click on add non Steam game. And through your programs, you would search for the Epic Games Launcher. Click add to select or add selected programs. And then you can launch the Epic Games Launcher from here. And then open up a game that you see fit or that you want to play the game, the, the controller with. Uh, still note the control is still connected again it's as if it was playing through steam uh, so let me open up canna bridges spirits just to give you a little test uh, sorry for the lag that you may see <laughs> Uh, I don't have the graphics card for this, but uh, again, so uh, yeah, um, I'm moving the D-pad. I'm gonna go to, oh, all right, yeah, go to options and go to my graphics. So yeah, you, you can tell the game is working as if it was part of Steam. And then you can just go from there uh, once you open up games through your Steam. And, uh, oh, one, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it for that. Now I do want to get into the use of emulations. Uh, so for emulators, the controller, at least for latest updates for the emulators, uh, controller support should be uh, pretty standard. Uh, but one thing I do recommend though, is that you close off Steam. 
And then also I would recommend turning off your controller before you uh, go to your emulators. And to do that, you would hold the middle button and the share button again until it dies out. It takes about 10 seconds. Uh, so for this example, I'll open up Dolphin. Go to controllers, go to configure. I already have it set up as if uh, the controller was already connected. Uh, so to connect it back, uh, since you already set it up beforehand, you really just need to press the uh, middle button and then it would show the original color when you first connected the controller. And then the dolphin detects it and you can see that the analog things are working. When I'm pressing the triggers is also working. And the reason I say to close off Steam first and turn off your controller is that some applications I noticed uh, once Steam is open, while I open up an emulator, uh, the emulator is not detecting the controller as a controller in of itself it's just not working uh, it did it, it usually works with dolphin but i noticed it when i use my ps2 emulator specifically uh, but when i was trying to, to uh, record this video beforehand i noticed that it didn't work with dolphin as well uh, so again a precursor close off steam turn off your controller before you try using the controller with your emulators and again emulators should just detect it as a d input uh, a wireless controller and then you'll be able to set it up how you see fit and that's how you use it for pretty much most emulators one thing i do want to know is that there are some applications that just only have support for xbox controllers uh, so this tour this tutorial may not be uh, the best use case scenario so what i would recommend you do is that you search up a, a tutorial that is based off ds4 windows as that application uses your ps4 controller and, and uh, emulates it as if it were a Xbox controller. So applications that only detect uh, Xbox controllers using DS4 Windows would enable you to use your PS4 controller in that use case. Uh, so uh, best to look up those type of tutorials and I'll probably link one in the description below uh, that would best uh, help you. I would recommend my old one, but that is a bit outdated. Uh, so it is gonna vary, but uh, again, DS4 Windows would be your best option for applications that uh, do not have controller support other than PS4. Uh, also, that application is good for uh, if the control, if the game or whatever application you're using only supports keyboards, DS4 Windows is also good in uh, mapping out your controller as if it were a keyboard as well. So I'll link uh, at least DS4 Windows below uh, and the uh, video uh, that I think would best suit uh, your needs in that, in, in that standpoint. And with that, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope you guys uh, got some insight on to how to connect your controller, uh, at the very least some more ideas as to how you to connect your controller. I know this can be pretty finicky. I just hope I at least led you to the right direction. I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, if so, be sure to leave a like, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll help out as best I can. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys for watching and have yourself a great day.